Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Combat. We're playing more Stellaris, continuing with our Death Cult campaign. Kind of chilling right now, trying to get the uh, Elgate system, you know, explored and locked out. But, you know, we'll have to see. I would love to get another science ship in there, but um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Also, we've got some big tech incoming this episode, which is good. Our fleet's currently not really doing anything. Uh, we are... We are getting close to 60, which we could just go declare war on anyone at any point. Okay, so there's our robot output and our synthetic robots. Good. Unfortunately, it did not give me any of the ones I wanted. We had three that we wanted. We had the Titan one, we had the robot one, and then we had the mega structure repair. And of course, I get none of those back. Let's <laughs> give me the auto cannon because it's the cheapest and quickest. And yeah, we're just going to keep cycling until we get those. I picked the robot one because that was the rare one, so that one seemed like the number one one to pick. Um, we currently have no specialist. You're building a city district, which gives us clerks, which are not specialist. Uh, this is a forge world. So we should be building another industrial district. And then what do we want here? We want the Ministry of Production, but we don't have the capital yet because you need 30, 40, 40. So we could do a crystal plant. Can I do a gas? Because remember, we saw we were going to be out of gas. Yes. So there you go. Okay. So that plan's going to be fine Strange. when we're done here. Uh, go ahead and research. We actually found an anomaly. It's been, <laughs> it's been a few years since we found ourselves an anomaly. Hey. Hey. Um... I need you to come speed up and help survey the system. The quicker I survey the system, the quicker I can lock it out. So, exotic re, uh, radiation. Okay, was that the... Was that from the anomaly? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the governor level cap. And I think when we grab the second one, we're just going to take the administrative one and be done with it. One alloy in there. Maybe this isn't as good as it used to be. Or maybe, I don't think I've actually ever seen the Eldrix before. Ah, yes. Love it. Archaeology site pending. After a grilling search, the last key was discovered in the form of a miscule button in one of the carved alien glyphs. In the last chamber, a gigantic throne held the stumped and motionless form of a large humanoid figure. Horrible smell hints at the decay. Some glyphs at the bottom of the throne said, Zarklin, at your service. The body's too far gone to be moved, but the head's surprisingly well-preserved given its age. Not wanting to leave empty-handed, some archaeologists use a laser cut to remove the head. Okay, we found a relic. Cool. Hi. You found the legendary Tomb of Zarkwin. When the augurs told me I did not believe them, but the evidence is irrefutable. I understand that you have the prophet's head in your possession. Then, as was foretold, the chosen of the great Zarkwin have been last been revealed. As would have been the Zarkwin's wish, any unsettled holy worlds near our space are yours to do with what you please. There are also many devote pilgrims on the celestial throne that would be greatly honored to fight under your bones. Okay. I am all for that then. All right, so we're the chosen one. I mean, I could have told you that. <laughs> Defense grid super, yeah, yeah. I don't want the effing planetary shield generator. For being rare, you should freaking pop up a lot, man. I think let's just get the shield hit points at this point. I think so. So, I wanted to see, does that actually count as another relic? Yes, it does. Summon a small fallen empire fleet. Okay. Okay. I'm good with that. I like that. I like that. Is it a permanent thing? Or is it like a one-time use thing? Just asking for a friend. Is it like for a certain period of time? And is what's the what's the cooldown on this? Oh, you can't activate it while another one's activated. Uh, well, that's interesting. Huh. Oh, we're supposed to be doing probably some research crap with it, by the way. Yeah, thank you for the science. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was, there's one other thing I was going to do. And it was, I was trying to find the Holy Guardians, these guys. Hi, where are you located? Okay, so there's some worlds over here that apparently I can settle now, I guess, or something. It doesn't really matter because I'm not close to them. And at this point, we're looking to kill them all, but like, whatever. Uh, anomaly, go ahead and research. We are maxed out again, and this is, yep, yep. Let's make sure we grab the right one. Auto cannon's done. Ah, there we go. There we go. I want the Titan, but we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. We're going to do the next rarest one, okay? That's the plan. What are you doing over there? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go. Yeah, we never got the experimental movement, did we? Mm-mm. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a worthy system. Has gas, has nanites. Nice, nice, nice. Puzzling polygon. So the path to the L cluster may now be opened. Well, it, yeah, we already did that. We now have enough L gate insights. Um, <laughs> about that. Yeah, um, sure. Temple of Grand Sacrifice is now unlocked. Good, cool, thanks. Fleet command limit. Uh, probably. Citadel of Faith. I think it's the top tier building. I think it is. But give me the fleet command limit right now. Uh, you have a new building slot. Cool. Your bureaucratic center. I remember, so we were going to build another bureaucratic administrative office. Good. Then you have two new sectors. Where's this one? I don't remember this world. You're a forge world. Hmm. So we got an industrial district coming in and a gas refinery. Oh, so the gas refinery is one of them. Okay. Somehow we unlocked another one, which... Yeah. I don't know what we want. We could do a rare crystal one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Could probably use some robots there because I'm pretty sure those all flit there. Like, I'm pretty sure those all are these. Maybe? Actually, I don't know about that. Governing shift in the citizen confederation. Okay, that's fine. Um, which you're still working on upgrading. Oh no, we should have an extra envoy. We do. We do. So, we're gonna go send you over here and let's go get our spy network back. Accept. Thank you. And we could steal technology. I think I'm back to smearing, though. Yeah, let's go back to smearing. I'm just trying to keep the universe as independent as possible. <laughs> so they don't team up to fight me, which, how is this going for them? Who the freaking heck are these guys, man? The Tinky Conservative Act. The Tianki species? The Tianki. Uh, this is all in alphabetical order, right? Tianki. I haven't even seen them yet. Huh. That's really weird. Uh, can I see what resolutions have passed? So they have Buzzworld standardization. Active modifiers, okay, so weight from the economy is negative 20%, research output is a little bit higher, uh, bureaucratic weight upkeep is a little higher, alloys from jobs is higher, minerals from jobs, okay, so there's not really much. Um, there's no galactic console, it looks like. Comfort the Fallen? Uh, I thought that was gonna be like comfort for like the fallen races. I was like, wait, what? I don't think they technically need that. Oh, hey, guess what, we're done. Starbase. Okay. So, um. You go there. You go there. Good. And we're going to lock that out, and the nanites are going to be awesome. I don't actually know if we can build the nanite thing. I mean, we got the earlier nanite thing. I don't know if that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know what? We also still never got around to. We don't have a lot of allies, but we could go do this. So, 
we want to give you the defense grid, please. And yeah, you're just going to go max damage, please. Research agreement broken. Uh, always fine with that. <sighs> yeah, double up the shipyard here. And I think... It's not really deep space, so it doesn't really thematically fit here with the black site, but I kind of still want to build it. Stability is actually only at 90% here, so sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Give me the deep space. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We'll do our black site near our capital, which I'll have to say is really defensible in this particular game. We... Don't really have anyone super close to our capital. We had a lot of space all to ourselves, so it's a fairly safe black site. If we're going to be doing testing of you know really terrible weapons, <laughs> I mean we were spreading pox to everyone, so <laughs> you know, just saying. It's not as if we are, you know, the nicest of people at this point. Okay, so we're going to want all the Elgate. Um, and you know what? They should have a mega structure here. So being able to repair mega structures is going to be a good idea for us. Um, So we could send another Elgate, another dude through the Elgate. I don't think so at this point. How's our world? It's not done yet. Okay, migration treaty opposed or proposed. So we're waiting at this point, remember, and we're going to make you a um, crime world. Sell that. Thank you. I love how our money is going up and down. Operatives defect. We'll just do that one. I don't really care. Eldrake observed. The situation has been sure. Let's talk to it. Hey, we're going to kill the world. Do you want to help us? What are you doing, by the way? Oh, you coming to... Ah! Okay, well, on your way there, go talk to him. <laughs> yeah, because that's the guy I sent up. What if he becomes hostile and kills my ship? Oh, well. Oh, well. What level is this leader? Uh, he is level 9, so. But whatever, whatever, whatever. More nanites. Love it. Love it. Dude, I love the nanites, man. Ugh. They're so freaking good. So, yeah, we're going to definitely lock all of this and... Everyone's going to be super jealous. So, this is food. Almost sold the wrong thing. But I actually double checked. For once. A new colony has been okay, so new colony is done. So we're going to go ahead and create penal colony. Congratulations. So this means other colonies have negative 25% crime. Which is crazy. 100% crime here. Immigration poll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to want... Defense armies, naval capacity... No, we want precinct houses. Because we're going to want to fight the crime. Fight the crime! So, there are actually still buildings on here. Interesting. Huh. So, there's still buildings, but um, the devastation disappeared. Not a lot of districts available. I wonder how much of that was me. <laughs> Seeing as how, you know, I kind of killed them. But, yeah, whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. What else would we like to put? You know, if we're gonna have a bunch of prisoners... I do feel like... Yeah, I'm just going to put some of the prisoners on this planet, because I think it's worth it. So, we have a ruler unemployed. Wait, how do you have a ruler unemployed? Uh... Uh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. 
Was he like managing the slaves or something? Weird. I don't know how he was a ruler and then he's no longer a ruler. Okay, science director and administrator. You have four administrators and a merchant. Hmm. Let's upgrade you and see if maybe that'll fix it. I have no idea. Point is, I just want to put a bunch of slaves here. I mean, we don't actually need the food. I don't really care. Um, actually, no, yeah, yeah, go focus on the energy. So, you know what? We have a lot of energy here, so we'll just do an energy grid. That'll work. That'll work. A uh, newly established colony, yep, and it is now my prison colony. So, maybe because the crime fixed itself? I don't know. And maybe that had something to do with it. I, whatever, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Still would love to kill Shard, man. He's just sitting there taunting me, man. Taunting me. I will destroy you, buddy. By the way, who ended up settling? He stole my wormhole. Wasn't well, there someone else that stole something else I wanted? There's all the trade union. Was it the double worlds there? I actually don't know. Uh, so we actually tamed him. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Kunbar. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, um okay, you, you can come over here and survey that system now. And I wonder what fleet we're going to put him with. Uh, how strong is he, by the way? Where, where's our Drake? Oh, he's over here. Wait. What? No, I don't want you over there. I want you... Ow, I clicked on the wrong one. He is Skull. Okay. Construction venture completed. Interesting. I wonder, and I'm thinking I probably can't actually merge him with my other fleet. That would kind of make sense. I gotta be honest, though. That's pretty freaking major awesome. Like, our fleet power is stupid good. I wonder... Let's just look here. Unknown. I can't actually spy on them. Hmm. It, ah, you know what we could do, though? We can go here and cheese it this way. Because if we went here and we sorted by relative power, they're still technically overwhelming. Okay. And I don't know it's really science at this point. Um. Yeah, their economic power is equivalent. The technology is still overwhelming. And we're not sure on their fleet. Okay. Okay, we're just going to kind of keep that in the back of our mind for now. So, happy to have you aboard, buddy. Terminal orbit, observe moon impact. I don't really want to do this, but okay. Let I me mean, go ahead and do the research projects. And then, research projects and system. Wait. Oh, that's literally, we finished exploring the system. <laughs> I was like, I'm confused here for a second. Uh, they're getting intending independence. You are done. Let's go survey this system then. Keep moving through. Construction venture completed. Uh, let's go grab the nanites. Although I kind of want to get over here because that's probably the home world, I think, which is really, really good. I kind of wish, can you turn the alligate off? I almost feel like I just want to turn the alligate off if I play the game again. I've just kind of seen everything with the alligate. And it's kind of like, it's great. I love the alligate. But I also, you know. How can I say this? It, it's almost like it gives us too much power. Not that we really needed the power. We're already kind of kicking butt. But yeah. So I don't like any of these. Habitability might make sense. What are we waiting for right now? We could be just killing. 
And I mean, I probably should be because the thing is, we're not really ticking up on the crisis until we fight a, lo a war. So we really should. But I really do still like the idea of getting you to 60. Question is, do you have an alliance with anyone? He has a non-aggression pack. With us. Oh, well that was a mistake. Yeah, we're, we're gonna come kill you here. So. Yeah. Now the downside is, I, I just, I need to see the borders a little bit better. And right now it's just kind of hard to tell what's going on because of the freaking border crap. So uh, you're at 56, so you're about to give me the border, or to fix the border gore. Um, and then you are at 52, so we're not too far away. So even though we got a lot going, we can handle this. Uh, where was that anomaly? That was you. Uh, research anomaly, please. And you are observing the moon impact, yep. Uh, special project complete, get a bunch of experience, okay. So you come over here and survey that system. Thank you, construction's complete. So let's go ahead and build the mining stations. And so yeah, we are getting the nanites. Uh, so the probability conundrum. So we've gotten a report, uh, it seems a ceramic container circling the star, ugh. Yeah, we've seen this one before many, many times. I don't really remember what happens. I don't I don't think it's like a hundred percent you can get it. I think it's one of those things that like you have to roll to actually get it to work right. So let's think here for a second. Let's pause the game. I'm gonna go ahead and sell off you. So if we're gonna go to war against him, we're gonna probably want to border him. So through here and through here, the only way to get to me is right here. Okay. So I think the goal is to get here, lock this out, and then we can attack them from whatever direction at that point. Construction venture completed. I think that is gonna be fine for us. So you're done here, you have nine of 20. Construction I mean, you know, you know. Wait, you're not even a Citadel. Oh, I didn't even realize we had the Citadel available still too. Okay, well, we'll upgrade you to Citadel. Yeah, I mean, might as well. Go ahead, give me the Citadels, please. You, we already upgraded to a Citadel. Okay, uh, give me the defense grid supercomputer here, please. Please, please, please. Because uh, this is kind of our defense on the west side. You know what? Oh, they come and take over my penal colony. Who cares? Now, this way, I just don't know if they have open borders. If they have open borders. But see, he can't get over that way. I mean, he can, but that's that's not an easy thing. That's a long, 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 long way. Okay, go survey that way, please. Thank you. Do we not find a superstructure here? We did not find a superstructure. Space Storm Stalk arrives. Massive subspace disturbances. 50% uh, of the system have been affected by this. Uh, oh, okay, so it's just uh, it's another travel thing. So is there no? You'll get nothing from us. I will destroy you. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is our home world. So there was no superstructure in this place. All right, well, fine. I actually kind of would like him to come declare and fight us. <laughs> Because we need the energy, <laughs> or we need the crisis points. So, you know, he has no chance, I would think. I keep bumping him naval capacity. That one's a little slow. Yeah, we want that, though. We want it. Uh, okay, so... Can you guys merge? You cannot. I also can't give you a leader. What I can do, however is we are going to put the immaculate specimen, the immature specimen. We're just going to have him follow uh, our main army, our main navy. So when our main navy jumps around, he'll come jump in and help. 
And I don't know if he'll heal. Yeah, I have no idea how that happens. Um. So he's asking me to declare war is what's happening here. So the Galactic Lipin Hegemony, which sounds like the Galactic Lycan Hegemony, <laughs> which, oh, this guy over here wants to declare war on the Civilian Confederation. <sighs> I mean, I can. I could come take this crap back. Do we know where that one goes? That actually, oh, that goes into his territory. How go you? Okay, thank God. So he's um, unknown flea power. He has 10 worlds. You have 18 worlds. Sure. Now, does that actually... What kind of war did I declare? I have no idea. Oh, you know what sucks? Well, here's the thing. We're not actually in charge of this war, for what it's worth. So, it's not really that big of a deal. Mm, why can't I jump? Um, Why don't I have jump drives here? Oh no! Mmm, because I have all those other ships that don't have jump drives. Ah, yeah, that's a. I don't really want to form another fleet out of them. God dang it. Ah! Uh, yeah, all the cruisers and all that crap and the nanite ship and all that stuff. Oi. Which, in the scheme of things, aren't that useful anymore. Uh, Because I don't think they really give us that much power anymore. Like, the Caravan Destroyer here is only 230 power. The Indicator here is 2,500. Not bad. Uh, I think that one's ours. Yeah, we need the jump. We need the jump. I can't add ships to you. So, how do I, I want you in a different, I can't retrofit you, yeah, I can't do anything, disband fleet, design details, by the way, we're not even at 150 here, yeah, I didn't even finish building this fleet, weird, um, so I'm gonna have to literally just click on it. And then, wrong button. And then find the ships and just have them, ah, oh yeah, well hold up, split fleet. That's what we do. Split, that's nah, not the right button. <laughs> it's not split fleet, Brian. It is transfer ships, there we go. So those are my battleships. Those are my arty cruisers. We're gonna take you. I don't think you're one of mine. You're not one of mine. Okay. There you go. There you go. So, we are trying to get against you. We're trying to get over here as quickly as possible. So the quickest way is through here. So we're gonna teleport over here. Now what I really freaking hate about this Um, is we're just gonna have to have you guys follow as well. And then the procession... No shipyards build will to build. Weird. Uh, fleet manager. Weird. Let's go zero, 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 and zero. Yeah. Okay, now we can reinforce fleet. There you go. There you go. There you go, there you go. Uh, smear campaign, whatever, I don't really care. Do your thing. 
Um, our fleet did jump over here. Sure, we want to get you over uh, here as quickly as possible. We need uh, half a year till we can jump again. That's fine. Uh, extra shields, probably about a good time. Yeah, really good time for that one. Mega structure is 19 months away. So, um, I don't know if I really want to run that. I think I'd do the encryption. We need a uh, construction ship. Um, but we're going to want one up here at the... Actually, don't even know where it is anymore. Where the freaking... Oh, yeah, the, the mega structure is. So, yeah, let's get you flying over here to the mega structure because I'm pretty sure you're going to need to be there for that. Reinforcements and tragic. Yeah, 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 yeah. These guys did not actually follow, which is kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Construction. Let's just send you over here manually, then, both of these guys. We could put them on patrol, too. That's the other option, which begs a good question. Ran 4 is having some issues. Where's Ran 4? be really nice if you knew where some of this stuff was. <laughs> Ran 4, and then uh, Spica. Yeah, I really wish I knew where this stuff was. Ran 4, Spica. Okay, Spica's way over here. Hi. Um, I need to upgrade you, and we need to 100% fix you. And then I gotta find Ran 4 as well. Because we're gonna want to upgrade you to Ran 4, down here. Really? Really? You're having trade protection issues? Okay, well, you know what? Fine. I'm gonna patrol you down to Ranfor. Was it Ranfor the one that was in a really bad spot? No, no, no. Speak is the one that's in a really bad spot. Well, you know what? That's in the right direction. So, change of plans again. Uh, yeah, Speak is way up there. So, yeah, we'll just go do that. That's fine. We can go clear some of that crap out, too, while we're up there. How's our fleet going? Ugh, so much money. I am so rich. I hate it. It's like, oh, I just have too much money, man. Initiate jump. 93 days. Sign ship is done, by the way. Yeah, so there's not really much up there. Yeah, it's been kind of a disappointing Elgate, I guess, all things considered. Um... Yeah, there's not even really much up here at this point. We should go ahead, whoopsie. Can I upgrade you to a starbase here? Yeah, so we can get some trade range going. And then let's just go ahead and build the outpost. There you go. Procession is moving. We are 45 days, pirates sighted. Well, we knew that was gonna happen. Oh. Well, <laughs> bad day to be a pirate. Just going to throw that one out there. Because those pirates are about to get instantly destroyed. Love it. So 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Um, now, we do lose weapon damage. So... Now, nah, let's just go ahead and go in, because we're close enough. Because you do lose the weapon damage, and I don't want to, I don't want to, like, go into the fight with lower weapon damage. Yeah. Our home fleet's still kind of chill. Don't really need it right now. Because remember, the jump over there is this one. So, it's not like he really has a way to get to me. Now, this says it's five stars. Interesting. You think, you think he can do some damage to my fleet? I don't know, man. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see here. Fleet detected. 10.7k. Oh, that's the Marauders. Oh, no. What are we ever going to do? Oh, Marauders. I'm so scared. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Come at me, bro. I got 26.9k, punk. Uh, and actually, I can upgrade you a little bit, too. Uh, crap. Oh, yeah, no, no, these guys are fine. Oh, I want to watch the Elgate, or the Eldrake. Do some firing. Where's my Eldrake? There he is. Oh, my God. What the freaking heck are those? So, not the most accurate shots, but holy crap, those look cool. 
Okay. Yeah, he looks fun. He looks fun. Um, you guys are gonna have to go blow this up, by the way. Thank you. Fleet combat stats, fleet detected. I was like, wait, why are we being raided? Oh yeah, we, we told him to come at me. Uh, pirate station raided, encounter and stamisis, don't really care. Uh, fleet detected, we know about. Give me the immature, no, 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 just give me, just click the fleet here. Yeah, just give me both of them, and we're gonna go back to patrolling over here to Spico. I'm wondering why this one's having issues here. Maybe I should, you know, since we're having issues here, let's just upgrade you. And we'll just build some fleet protection, because they keep spawning in this area, so we'll get some naval protection. Is that the game lagging, or is this just the hyperspace speed right now? I have no idea. Oh, we're on speed one. <laughs> That's what's going on. I was like, I don't quite know what's happening. A system okay, so he's coming to Zatar. So he might be trying to flank around. I don't know if he really knows what he's about to encounter. So because of that, we just got to be ready here. We gotta wrap this episode up, but I want to have this fight. Oh my god, dude, look at our damage. Ugh. So they are actually shooting missiles. Uh, maybe? Those might be plasma things. I actually don't know what those are. Now that I look at it. Uh, let's see, we can, I think, see from here. So they're using plasma cannons. And they are using missiles. Huh. Interesting. Does that mean we want to change what we got? Eh, not really. Not really. You guys are supposed to merge up, by the way. Um, anyways. We don't care about that fight. I'm just gonna leave you there for now. I care about one fight and one fight alone. And that's the space pirates. They talk crap to us, we're gonna blow them up. Are you, you moving? Oh, you got the you got the speed slow. Or, oh, we're still on one. No wonder. <laughs> okay, so he is coming my way then. Ah, oh, jeez, we jumped in. Ah, I wanted to hit him. All right, well here we go. Speed one again. I don't think they use missiles. To be honest, we're taking a couple long valleys with our battleships. They don't have anything that can compete. They're now shooting... I think those are kinetic charges. I don't really see any missiles. We've not really done any damage to them yet. So the battleships aren't actually really killing anything before we're getting in there. Although, I mean, they're just immediately getting wrecked here. I wish this looked a little cooler. This just turns into, like, laser chaos. General Orbit is a portable data bank. It's found to contain text in some alien language. Uh, the Prince. Okay. Sure. Uh, guaranteed revoked. Guaranteed revoked. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so that should be over here, I would think. That is over here. Go ahead and do the research projects in the system, please. Uh, and then go back to the home fleet, please. Because we're watching the fight. So 32.9k. He is still yet to actually damage us. Okay. So he killed a couple of my smaller ships. Or they're jumping. One of the two. I think they jump in because we're at 32.7. So we lowered and then got back up. And then we have the battleships that are just hanging out over here. Just shooting from range. So he has... Void Champion class. Oh, it's a cruiser. So he has some cruisers. Yeah, he has some cruisers, but I don't think he has anything larger than the cruisers. And the battleships are bigger than the cruisers, so. But I think his stuff is still kind of... No, that's actually mine. Okay. Uh, no survivors have been reported amongst the wrecks. Punks. Let's go. Uh, ooh, I need a sign ship over here. Hey. 
Hey, buddy. I want to figure out what's happening here, because this is going to be worth a heck of a lot more than whatever you're doing right now. So we're going to go ahead and repair fleet, and you literally lost one freaking ship. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Yes, Parker, I know. So anyways, let's wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. So always hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.